Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today. As I probably wait a little bit, let's, uh, yeah, that's the one over there. Uh, because it's very, very late here in Paragon, and I think I just died. I died a little bit. Um, Boris killed. Yeah, that, 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 that happened just then. Let's reload, let's, yeah, let's try and make sure, wait, what? How did I die that much? Oxygen is taken, they're healing, why am I dying? Is it my hunger? Oh, I thought I had cheesed the system before. Uh, cause I thought, uh, let's press, what's the key? What is the key to, what, why do I, how do I get here? There's a key for me to get here. So, I heal for a little bit, but I thought I had cheese. Like, I thought if you rested while you weren't hungry, uh, you would always, um, you would always be good. So, let's eat outside, because obviously that doesn't quite work for me. So, let's camp. And, because uh, I can't be bothered to find a cooking place. I'm sure there's a cooking place somewhere in there. Uh, continue, roast, cook, leave, thank you. And get healed as well at the same time. Mm-hmm. This place looks very familiar. But it is not one of those places. At least as far as I know. Oh, we're off. Okay. So yeah, we're in Paragon. And finally we're in Paragon. Can I? Thank you. Finally we're in Paragon. In the last episode we had a chat with... I, don't, I never learned her name. And uh, she just left. She was waiting for her... Um, um, ex-lover, I guess, and uh, she wants to kill him, and uh, I'm pretty sure she might actually in end up doing that. Uh, but for right now, we have an enormous uh, city so far. Oh, well, I say enormous city. Let's look at the map. It, uh, no, 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 that's bad. Come here. Right click. Yeah, it, it is enormous. And that's without counting the possibility of having multiple areas, like Krasnodar's not many has. It has three areas, three distinct areas. We got an empty bottle out of that. Off to a terrible start, I must say. But there's nothing else over here. Uh, we got a lot of uh, boxes over here, but nothing in there. We have these movable bridges, or whatever they are, for carrying equipment and, and just cargo and all that sort of stuff. Lovely river over here, which means we must be looking south? How does that work? Paragon is north of the... Hmm. It's north of the river. I'm not... 100% certain, but of course there could be docks and all this sort of stuff, and speaking of docks, there's a freaking tanker in here, or some, I'm not, something, it's a ship can't go up in there oh, oh, that's right, we can't go into the ship, because we uh, what was the thing that the guard said? said something about yeah, we also talked with a guard, and he said something about uh, not being able to get in there until I pay my dues or talk to some, it's, it's fine we're gonna it's a conversation that was basically could have been resolved to talk to everyone. I'm not gonna tell you anything. And we have a barbecue going on. I can't actually take the rats. You're cooking rats. Don't you know they should take the tail off and just make some soup out of that? A tall man with extremely wide shoulders, wearing a woolen shirt, stands near the grill. He whistles some sort of a tune. Probably The Dance of Nights by Prokofiev. When he hears your footsteps, he turns around, granting you a wide grin. You find something unsettling in this man. Something is wrong with him. Yeah, he was whistling. That's what's wrong with him. Wanna take, wanna have a bite? Come over here. Here, here, we have the, make the juiciest, the tastiest, the best roasted meat in the wastes. Uh-huh, and it costs tremendous amounts of money. Actually, it doesn't. It only costs 61. That's pretty good. A thousand hunger. Well, that's... Actually, really good. Tasty and lined with fat. This roasted meat warms the soul and fills the stomach. A true delicacy of the wastes, where most of the population survives on stale crackers, boiled grain, pre-war canned goods, and potatoes. I bet they don't actually do that, because it's been 18 years, they have eaten everything. It's not. This is not like Fallout 4 or Fallout 3, where it's been 20... 20? 20 years, as if 200 years, that's the word, the number I wanted to say, and there's still meds all over the place, more bandits than there are peaceful civilians, and uh, pre-war stuff all over the place, including, what are the thing? what are the things that I, there, there's one particular 
piece of, of food that I'm always like, oh my god. Like, canned goods, and I suppose cereal, it has a long shelf life. Sure, whatever. But, you know, it's 50 years, it's not 200 years. Let's, let's not, I mean, that's, just, yeah. But there's one in particular that has like a shelf life of 10, and I don't remember, or of 10, of, uh, of like a month or something. Why am I seeing the numbers all wrong? I think it's milk. Is it milk? Uh, uh, there's one that I that picks that, that picks at my pet peeves uh, whenever I see it. Anyway, sounds good. What's uh, what kind of meat is it? The man twirls his mustache and winks at you with a happy smile. Don't fret. It's pure lamb and poultry and some rat meat too. But you won't even notice the difference. No, I just eat rat meat all over the place. Sounds nice. Show me your wares. Can you make a discount? Nah. Okay. And that goes back over there. Uh, maybe can I answer some questions? What's your connection to those two guys over there? You might think this is a random question. And it is. You mean Ivan and Anton? They are the true breadwinners around here. I'm nothing for this business compared to them. Roasting meat is stupidly simple, but making up plans, getting products, setting up contacts, now that's true art. Hmm, true art. <laughs> what, what can you tell me about this place? Paragon asks little questions and likes people who can make money well. What else is needed? My only wish is so that the local politicians would stop their bickering. I don't. You also have politicians in here. Oh, I thought you didn't. I because of the way they talk about this place. I don't know anything about them. That even when they eat at our joint, they look at each other like mad animals. The, because they hate each other, uh, or what? Or are they planning to do something bad? I don't know what mad animals look. I don't know what mad animals are. Where did you learn to cook in our day and age? I'm not cooking. Cooking means making fancy dishes out of cheese and oysters. I'm just roasting some meat like any decent man can. It's BBQ, not fancy French cuisine. Yeah, I know you, you guys have an obsession with French things. Cuisine, I guess, being one of them. Just, yeah. Just, he actually used the word cuisine, which is French, and also used in English. I'm not complaining. I wonder if it, uh, and also it would make sense for it to be used here because it's right next to the word French. I wonder if it is like that in in in, in Russian. What would be the more English word for cuisine? I'm wondering. Gas ga gastronomy? Gras that, yeah, that's probably why people say cuisine, because even though it is a weird pronunciation, because it's a French pronunciation, uh, and not English pronunciation, it's still better than gastronomy, and I don't know if that's the way it's pronounced, because there's all... Anyway, um, maybe you can share some rumors. The cook, who isn't a cook, uh, draw... How would you say that? How would you say somebody who do does barbecue? It's the cook, uh, the cook, sure, but, like, there's... Is that a specific word? He draws some strange symbol in the suit. It looks like a musical instrument. This is random, but he's doing that. Uh, wait a minute. What did I ask him? Share some rumors. Right. Okay. A one-loop post horn or a scout horn muted with a cork. Uh, okay. Ever seen this sign? He asks. Somebody likes drawing it in big towns, sometimes even in the wastes. Some have it as their tattoo. I can't tell you why, simply because I'm not that educated on its meaning. But if you ever see a man bearing this sign, run away. Don't even talk to him. And I think I know what it is. That's the um, klaxon. Yeah, that's the klaxon sound. Uh, it's, I, I, it's very uncommon, actually, here in Portugal. But we do use it... Sometimes you'll see it in just random places, very rarely. But uh, I, I, there's a traffic sign that, that forbids the use of, of the, the horn on a car. Um, and it, it's got one of those things. It's basically like a, a loop-ti trumpet with a little bit bigger uh, a horn on one side. Like a scout horn, sort of. Yeah, sort of like that. And muted with a quark. I have no idea what that means. I just... I, I don't... Like, what, what... A quark? Like, I suppose a... a, a bottle cork rather than just normal cork because this cork is the, the, the thing out of a tree uh, but uh, yeah so I, th I suppose that's what it is I'll avoid this sign then I suppose no I won't actually I'll go straight in there and get all the weapons or die or both uh, okay so just, that's good uh, uh, well that's that thank you very much for the conversation I shall continue 
And I'm just now noticing that I'm wearing a beret. Which is also a French word. Also, that might not be the... That's the French pronunciation. I think American English pronounces it Barrett. Eh, let's have a chat with this guy over here. A thin man with a small red beard, wearing a clean white apron, waves at you in a friendly gesture. On his face, you see a homely little smile settle. Seems like he is really happy to see you. Oh, what? I'm sorry, I had that open. Aloha, traveler. Never seen you around. So hungry and tired. Come on over. The meat is roasting on the coals as we speak. Uh... Did you just assume my hunger and tiredness levels? Uh-huh. Right? Because that's a game? Is that supposed to be the, the joke here? Got the eyes of a hawk, he says. Not my first year in business, so I can easily read people. Huh. So about your joint. Oh, right. These guys are the, um... They're the, the bosses here, of course, as we just learned. Um, yeah, about your joint. What about it? The cooks, there's, well, you only talk to one, but the cooks are signaling six new portions of meat in the average spot need pickup. What is that? Despite your best predictions, what? What predictions? I have no idea what I just said. The smiling face of the man sees no change. Just no changes. He shrugs and calls out to his partner. They're earlier than I expected them to be. Well, you heard our friend, Anton. We need to travel out of town for an inspection. Yep, right now. Thanks for telling me, buddy. Hey, Cook, we need to go. How do I know that? Do I follow them right now? I think I know what this is, by the way. This is that place that, uh, that we suspect to have, uh, sex trafficking, slave labor, and all sorts of nasty things. Oh, I'm in comedy immediately. Yeah. And we have a bull, the famous bull, uh, first saw it in fiction in a game called Insomnia The Dark Descent. And, uh, oh, that's a cool one as well. That's also a, a, a famous picture. Well, actually, a statue that the picture is not necessarily famous. This is a torture device, uh, and it's meant to... Well, I, it's... I'm not sure if it's loaded like this. Um, it's meant to... It's basically just a bull made of bronze, and you put people in there to torture and kill them. Uh, and as they die, it sounds through the bull and makes it sound, like, terrible. Then just hear the dying screams of people. Uh, over here we have a satire, and, uh, actually it's two satire. No, maybe, no, there's a satire and a goat having sex. They're, they're having sex. Uh, over here we have... I don't actually know what that is. Over here we have... I can't recognize what that is. I'm very, uh, bad at knowing what this is. And then over here we have... I, they're, sh they're being shot at can tell. There's also blood and a hammer. And, the, yeah, th I would say this looks like Nazi paraphernalia. Although, the maybe. I mean, the, it's just really a red banner and with a white thing in the, in the middle. And there are other, other places that use that. But then immediately we got what looks like an SS uniform, especially with a red band over there. Uh, so... And that has well. The thing is, that has been shot at, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. And then over here, we have uh, dildos, very crappy looking dildos, but dildos nonetheless. And then we have whatever. Oh no! Wait a minute. That's that's the that's a thing. Maybe are those whips? Yes, maybe. I yeah. And then over there we have a lockpick <laughs> and a, pa a painting, pinup painting, I believe. Oh, there you go. So nothing too untoward so far, apart from all the signs of blood that pro- that, I mean, we don't really have the people, it could be tomato juice, or red paint! Especially if I see skele uh, plastic skeletons around- uh, if I see plastic skeletons around, I'll assume it's red paint. Then over here we have some crosses, the uh, non-lethal kind of crosses here, with manacles. Uh, they're- they have a different name, these ones, because they're not meant to kill you, they're just- uh, they're like- yeah, that, because you can see that people can stand over there. Crosses kill you by suffocation. Uh, and don't, they don't need to have the, the, this 
a thing even. They can have multiples. They can ha just have be a post. And yeah, they kill you by suffocation. The the nailing of of uh, prisoners and or of condemned to the cross itself is rarely used, or historically, I mean. Uh, let's see. We got a crossbow. Okay. That's I assume. Yeah, I assume maybe that's uh, just target practicing, and they filmed that. Okay. And then over here we have uh, the biggest VHS tapes uh, in the world, but we have seen those before. And the tiniest television sets as well. Uh, but that's good because it's just probably for cutting. Over here we have, I should know who that is, because that is a famous uh, Roman uh, statue. Marcus Aurelius, I want to say, but I uh, can't remember. And also don't remember, I, I, I know the name, but I don't remember who it is, who it is if it's a Roman emperor. I believe it is not, I believe it's a pre-empire. Pre over here, got gasoline tanks and uh, what looks like a, a body that that is that was ble bleeding, or was somebody killed in one of these things? That bodies t tend not to bleed, but these do, so they they probably were alive. Yeah, so that's that. And we have a uh, finally our victim. He's alone. That's really interesting that he's alone. He only has a sharpened knife, and I'm in front of everybody. And I can't see him. Okay. Hello, sir. You shall be shot in the eye for 87% chance to hit. Sounds good to me. I'll step aside so that uh, my friends can shoot you better. That was good. He took Kasparamid. He's just a guard. Okay. It's good enough. Let's go for the, eye, the head. Okay. Well, it's time for us to... Uh, to look at what we have over here. Was that a sharpened knife? Did he have a sharpened knife? He had a sharpened knife. He did, didn't he? My god. This guy's fancy. Okay, so we can't really investigate the the things that need investigating. But I assume we're gonna get other thi Okay. I assume we're gonna get other things. Uh oh, I'm encumbered. Over encumbered. Uh, that's, yeah, Oxygen can carry all this. Does he? Yeah, he's got plenty of carry weight. I got plenty of stuff for you as well. No, that's not how that works. Uh, that was a knife. So a sharpened knife. I'm gonna sharpen the knife later. Let's look at our... Man, I'm carrying too much stuff. This is Ben Hughes. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I wonder... It's, I mean, I'm carrying everything. That's what I'm carrying. We got a bunch of gunpowder over here, but that's not really heavy. I wish you could sort by weight. Gonna be really nice. Maybe it is possible. No, those are just the scroll things. Huh. I don't know. That's what we're carrying, but I don't want to give those away. Because they might use them. <laughs> and that might be a good thing, actually. Um, we got some cabbage. Got a lot of diesel. No, actually, that's not diesel fuel. That's gasoline. That, that just hurts you. Okay. And then we got another canteen, which is very nice. An axe. A bunch of logs. Is that supposed to, to be... Are we supposed to know what to think about that? We got a creepy list. A grease-stained note. And a poem. Well. Buckle in. Buckle in? That's words? I'm sure. Let's uh, see the creepy list first. Let's actually read. A strange list of names and nicknames found in the meat-roasting shack's basement. Absolutely. Uh, Gourmets, Nikolai Sipli Siplovsky, again, with the nicknames, but that one is uh, used in the English way, which is putting the nickname in the middle. It's not the same way for every language, but that is how English does it. Vladimir Katushkin, Abdul Sh Sakhim, Leonid Lo Leonia Abramov, San San Sandore, Zandore, the crab. In T T Trudograd, which we haven't been to, uh, there's a bunch of names over there. I don't really recognize any of these. And in Krasnos and Many, there's a, uh, the list abruptly ends with a large tear in the paper. Interesting. And over here we have... Uh, wait, wait. Oh, that's the poem. A short poem written by a steady hand. Beast song, bird song, fires ablaze. Spirits awoken gather around the flames. Midnight summer... No, midsummer night... Take it all away. God of the woods, great pen. Pan, pan, great pen. Yo, pen. 
dot dot exclamation mark. Uh, there being pen being um, a satire, I believe, from the Greek mythos or a friend of satires. I'm not really sure. The flute of pen. I, actually, I'm not really sure if the, what the name is of the flute of pen, um, but uh, that's where I learned the name from, and uh, satires used it. Uh, it's, it's probably it's a mu musical instrument, and uh, we haven't seen it yet here. Maybe it exists. Uh, what is this one? A grease-stained note, stained by someone's greasy fingers. Oh, so we think it's the fingers. Do not forget, should waste the rest of the meat. I have this nagging suspicion someone wants to settle a score with us. Dead meat should go on the spit, as always. Buy new tapes for the cameras. The old ones are full and await sending to the gourmets. Do something about the noise cancellation. Not noise proofing. That's... You know, the, the audio is too crappy. Get something in there. During the last few games, the screams were heard above ground. Yeah, that, it's, sound, it's soundproofing, not noise cancellation. That's a different thing altogether. People ask questions. Not good. Buy new crossbow bolts. Work out the situation with the driver that wants out of the deal. Beers report. Uh, that's important over there. What's going on in the bandit fortress? What is? Where's the fresh meat? What is going on in there? I don't know. The Soviet scout captured by the SS room. Oh, so that's what that is. Uh, is way too popular. Should have a talk about expanding it. Right. So that explains what that is. Except that they didn't put Nazi symbols, I assume, for uh, so they can sell the game in Germany or something. Although they could make a different version for Germany, just too much work, really. And there's no, it's not really anything gained by by having the Nazi symbols in there anyway. So we have, oh, we have enough gunpowder, I think. Also, a quality zip gun is always nice to have. Can I not? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, good, good, good. And I'm not over encumbered, which is great. Let's see what we have over here. Some more scrap. Okay, I get a crossbow with bolts in it. And that's four crossbow bolts. I'll give to oxygen over here. I'll actually... Can I... How do I... Oh, there. Okay. So I'll give you four. And I'll give you four. Because these are very heavy, so I might as well do that. Uh, also, two bottles of milk are four kilograms. Those are not bottles. Those are freaking jugs. Okay, yeah, you, you keep that, heck, uh, you, yeah. Uh, and then I will give you also the crossbow bolts, because I don't need them for anything, so... You can carry them, no problem. There's more bottles. Are they all empty? They are, as you'd expect, honestly. Okay. And here we have... Can't get the lockpick. I was saying it's a lockpick, because... I don't know, it looks like one. We've got another magnifying glass, which is really nice. And some condoms, that which I can't tell. I what? Okay. Well, there. There's explanations for that, I guess. But it also there's also implications of that. Well, if they're gonna have sex workers, never mind the people they torture or seem to torture. Anyway, this could be just all fake. Uh, better they work in safety, I guess. Um, okay. So, yeah, this could be all... F like, this could be all... No, it can't be all. They are talking about the meat. I was saying, I was thinking that this could, you know, just setting. It's just a setting. No, this is real. Because they're talking about the meat. And they work with slavers for another... So, yeah, just... It is definitely real. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess we're out, and I don't know what... Oh, yep. Yeah. You start climbing up when a strong beam of light blinds you. Someone is using a flashlight to spot you. Dark figures with assault rifles stand in your way. Carefully, without losing you from their sights, a small troop of cutthroats emerges. Now, surrounded by tough-looking men... Anthony and Ivan, the owners of the meat roasting shack, stand before you. They aim their handguns at you. Ivan starts speaking first. And here I was thinking it was an ideal cover-up. Not just making your true business as a cafe, but actual, actually running the cafe and making the best damn roasted meat around. 
so nobody would doubt that's all you're going you're doing with your sad life. What gave us out? He asks. Well, I guess we're in a bit of a predicament. We're also at the end of the episode, so let's see what 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 we get next time. For right now, I'm Curl RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.